Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and this is one more session from Tutorials Diary on the Ethereum blockchain. So in this session we will talk about the difference between uh, message to sender and transaction dot origin functions. So we have received many requests and many queries on these two functions and uh, most of people think that these are two similar functions performing the same thing then why we have these two separate functions and if there is some difference what is the difference here between these two functions so if we have the same questions so this session is for you we will make you clear that why we have these two functions and what is the difference we have between these two functions in the solidity so one thing you uh, you have to remember that uh, we don't recommend to go for transaction dot origin functions we'll explain you why why this this is not recommended uh, in the real time scenarios and uh, where it should be used so we always recommend to go for message dot sender to get the exact sender who is calling your contract so let's take the example which we are showing in this uh, slide like suppose you have three contracts contract a contract b and contract c so what is happening contract a is calling contract b and contract b is calling contract c so when you try to access when you need okay in the c contract that who has called this contract who's the caller of this contract so actual caller is b right so in case you going want to get the uh, messenger uh, uh, the caller address okay so you can use message to sender so message to sender will give you the address of contract b which is calling the contract c but in case by mistake if you use transaction dot origin so transaction got originated from the contract a not from contract b so transaction dot origin will give you the address of contract a not of contract b so this is a major difference we have it here so this name clearly specifying that so message dot sender is who is calling the contract c which is a contract b not contract a but transaction is being originated from the contract a not from contract b so this is a difference which we have to remember so this is uh, you need to always remember that this is a difference we have between messenger dot message dot sender and transaction dot origin so let's go in quickly see one quick sample just to understand that when you really uh, use how this can look like so for that one uh, I will open I already open the remix browser so what we'll do uh, let me give this file name as transaction sample let me give this name so what we'll do here we'll create uh, a file solidity file okay. with this version 0 0.4.30 which we had done for previous example so what we'll do here we create three contracts so first of all we contract uh, C which is being called from contract A then we'll create contract B which will be called from contract A then we will have a contract A which will call the contract B so now first of all what we'll do so uh, from contract A we have to call the contract B right so what we'll do here we create one function here we'll say call contract B from this one and this should be public function and they should return me the address now what I'm trying to do here I'm just going to create one instance of contract B here let me take this as B and I will pass the address or no need to pass the address so I can just create a new instance here for B and this is how I can call the contract B from here so let's see what is trying to say okay unused variable that we'll use later on now what will do the same thing in the contract B so we'll create a function which will call contract C and that is again public returns address and in this one we'll create the instance of contract C so same way new uh, C okay now 
what we'll do in the contract see we'll do, do nothing what we'll simply do uh, we'll create a one function here uh, let's suppose uh, send address so what it will do whatever from wherever the call has been received it will give the address back so this what it will do returns address so first of all we'll try with both the things so first of all we'll try that when you use transaction dot origin what it will return okay so what we have done in the transaction in this one let me see what warning uh, okay this is fine so here what we're trying to do here we are trying to return the transaction dot origin value so we want to check that when we use this transaction dot origin in the contract c what it will return when the call is being made from c now your contract c is completed but now we come back to contract b and we invoke this function here which is send address and this should return the address so this complete your contract b as well now we come to contract a so i will call uh, b call contract c function here right so this completes my all three contract now what you see here what i am doing first of all i will uh, i have three contract here a b and c so a is calling contract b then b is calling the contract c so what c is returning the address from which is using transaction dot origin function so that will be passed to the call contract a back so now i just want to check that whenever i do the sample what transaction dot origin will return me so this should return me the address the account which we have used for contract a so let's quickly do one thing here so i have right now five address uh, five accounts so i will use these three account to deploy so let me use this first account uh, i'm going to use the very first account to deploy the contract a i will just note down here so for contract a this is my address which i'm using to deploy so say deploy okay this is being deployed on this address let's note down this address as well okay so the contract a is deployed using this account and this got deployed on this address so same way let's choose separate account for contract b let me choose a second account let me note down this value here and then let's click on deploy for b and this will get deployed on some address let's note on this address as well so same thing we'll do for c as well so let's do one thing let's choose one more account another account for contract c so what i will do i will note down this one and then i will deploy the contract c and this will get deployed on some address so now we have used three different account for contract a b and c as you can note see here so this is for a this is for b and this is for c and this is the address where it is being deployed now whenever i access this function which we have defined in a what it will do it will call the contract uh, b then what happened that contract b will call the contract c now in the contract c we are using this function transaction dot origin so this will give the address from where the transaction is being received highly we always think that this should return the address of contract b but it will give you the address of contract a let's see that one when you click on this call contract b let's see the output so the result output the output if you can see here we have got something like this way let me copy this one and note down here so now if you can see here this is something else which we have received i believe it should be it should be same as we have in the contract a let me check again this is something okay no this is what i'm trying to copy here let me check why it is not being copied let me check it again let me save this one here okay zero it is copying something else seems like here 
but let's see here uh, what is showing this is showing 0 x b 0 something right so what happens here which address it has returned let's check that one which is seems like the address of contract C only okay let me check this again uh, ideally they should not they should return the address of A from where the transaction is being initiated let me call this again let me try again and see I'm going to call this let me choose another function suppose yes so this is correctly showing now I'm going to call suppose uh, so I, I didn't notice that one now suppose I'm using this account okay to call the contract A so transaction will be originated from this address let me copy this address from here so this is my originating address which is 0x58 so whenever I call this function now call contract P in the output I should see the same same value which you can see it here 0x58 so this is the transaction originating this is not the address of B this is the address which I have used to hit the transaction for a contract A so as we have shown the PPT whenever contract A call B and B call C when you use transaction.origin it will give you the address of contract A not for the contract B now let's make a change here I will use message or sender okay instead of transaction now let's deploy uh, C contract again C got deployed now so what happened now let's see a difference so now I have used this account for C let me replace this one and this got deployed on this address so now I'm going to use a separate account here let me use this account or second account suppose let me choose one more account maybe Mm. let me choose the account for contract which I want to test it here anyhow let me choose this first one so now I will use this account to hit the transaction from a contract A now when you use message.sender you should not this you should not see this address as a output rather what should happen that this new constructor this when you using this new word it will generate an address at runtime and that should get passed to this function let's do it now call contract P when you call this one you, sh you will see this value which is 0 C835 it is something like this way which you see here okay so which is not the same which we are deleting from here okay, let me check this value why I am not able to copy okay, this seems to be same here we should not be a case okay so because I think we haven't deployed the contract B and contract A again so what happening here if you just see I have used this account 0xca3 now let me do one thing let me deploy this contract B as well and contract A as well again or let's do from scratching let me deploy A also and B also and C also the same address now let me change the address here to 0x something like this way let me make this clear so I'm going to call this transaction with this address so I should not get this uh, address as a return value now when you try to hit this in a transaction A let's go and clean this up first of all then call this contract P when you open this one let's see what you get you will get 0x006d which is not the same which we have it here so this is going to get the address at runtime here and then it will get assigned to the contract C so this is a difference we have between the transaction.origin so I will repeat again whenever you use transaction.origin it will take the 
originating transaction address which is contract A but whenever you use message.sender it will take the address of contract B not the con address of contract A okay so I'm hopeful that uh, this is helpful for you and now we are clear about the difference uh, between these two functions and uh, we don't recommend to go for transaction.origin because this will give you the actual transaction starting point so this can be used as per your requirement thanks for watching <music>